I've been reading through Exodus lately and just something I came across that I'm honestly not quite sure what to do with. Would love to hear your thoughts on it also. So in Exodus 4, God has already met with Moses at the burning bush, already called him to set Israel free, already had the discussion about Aaron being his mouthpiece, all that good stuff. And Moses is traveling from Midian where he was living to Egypt to help with setting everybody free. And in verse 24, it says, Now it came about at the lodging place on the way that the Lord met him and sought to put him to death. Then Zipporah took a flint and cut off her son's foreskin and threw it at Moses' feet. And she said, You are indeed a bridegroom of blood to me. So he let him, so God, he let him alone. At that time, she said, You are, are a bridegroom of blood because of the circumcision. And then it just goes on and talks about Moses and Aaron addressing the Israelites. But it is, it's interesting to me how um, God calls Moses uh, to, you know, do these miraculous things for him, to be this, um, um, you know, have this amazing role in God's plan before he requires obedience of him in terms of the circumcision so that part's interesting to me um and it just i mean it makes me think of how abraham was called before being circumcised and then also in the new testament it talks about don't make that a prerequisite for believing is being circumcised um but clearly god cares a lot about it like, he makes a big deal about it. And I was asking some people why er, uh, Moses' son wasn't circumcised. And um, their thoughts on it was because his wife was not Jewish and that she might have insisted on not circumcising their son, um, which is also maybe why she did it instead of Moses. I'm not sure. But it's it's just a really interesting passage to contemplate and an interesting concept as well both with Moses being called before God dealing with I guess certain areas in his life I mean it also right before then it talks about how God's gonna take out Israel or Egypt's firstborn and all that and so I wonder if if just having that sign of circumcision was important in terms of being claimed as part of God's people so that uh, God wouldn't take out Moses' son too. I, I really don't know. Um, but it's, it's just interesting to me. A couple things of, of how God called Moses before he was in complete obedience in this area and also how um, it was clearly, circumcision was clearly a very important thing to him, to God. Um, so... Yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. And uh, this is Deeply Connecting. If you find this interesting, please um, subscribe and like and, and share with friends.